Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> and it's been a long time indeed. Can you believe it's Red Dead Redemption's 10th year anniversary? Memories don't really fade. It's already been a decade since the release of the game that would take us all by storm. From the people that brought you the Grand Theft Auto series, Rockstar Games, came an action-adventure blockbuster that would forever shape the Western genre in video games. Released on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 back in 2010, Red Dead Redemption combined the formulas of previous Grand Theft Auto titles and took us to a stunning open world set during the final years of the Wild West, serving as a spiritual successor to Red Dead Revolver, the first entry of the Red Dead series, which was released on the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox back in 2004. Red Dead Redemption, we follow the story of former outlaw John Marston, whose wife and son are taken hostage by the government in exchange for his services as a hired gun, as he hunts down his former associates who have turned into enemies. Despite 10 years passing from its release, the game continues to be remembered for its compelling gameplay, an amazing cast of brilliantly performed characters, an unforgettable soundtrack, and the plot that keeps you hooked to your screen until the very end. Join us in celebrating the 10th year anniversary of this timeless gem by watching our recap tribute as we take you through the best moments of the entire Red Dead Redemption experience. Please enjoy. In the gang. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! They left me to die after I'd been shot. I left the gang after the gang left me. Poor kid. I tried to go straight. I did. Then I got me more trouble. My name's John Marston. So this is Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. You know Bill Williams? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Well, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You did one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. If I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! No, you ain't man enough to stop me. Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch! All I care about is Williamson. It was vital to stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. What harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> Take off the boots, Americano. Ask him if he's seen John. <laughs> Things always turn out right for that boy. friends. We was kind of educated together. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair-like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> no, that's how 
how it goes. <laughs> I hope you find what you're looking for, Marcy. You know what I'm looking for. If you say so, Marcy. If you say so. My people need a man such as you to help our cause. I need to find two men so I can return to America. No problem. I will help you find those men. And in return, you will win a people her freedom. Where is Javier Square? Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? You know that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, we all knew. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vandalin is in the area. And who are you, Gringo? I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you can tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. It's a gentleman, Williamson. Come on, John. Oh, Santa Maria. So you want to settle this now, friend? People are free, and it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. Oh, Joseph, there you go. Mr. Marston, how was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over! Stop playing games with me! No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Over here! I found him! Good God, that's a informant! Dustin, what the hell's going on here? You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. Oh, it's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch, by making compromises we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. She's a parting gift from me. <laughs> oh! God damn! and I carried you down. Mm. Well, uh, Anastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you. Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderlyn. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderlyn's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What was he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? 
This is not what we agreed. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! Oh, oh shit! Damn it, Dutch! Faster, get down, now! There's no civilizing this savage land. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir, yes, I am, sir. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Who <laughs> green heavens above? Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. We're gonna kill the both of you. Come on. Goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. Marston, you're a public menace. I should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? After the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderman to rest ourselves. That man is insane. Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor Dutch no longer looks quite so kindly to us. I think we need to get him before sundown. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go! Got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. We can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. And give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's paradox, John. You see? Our time has passed, John. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. The man's dead, Ross. Can I see your gun? Oh, trust me, it looks better in the report that way. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. We did change. And it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. Hey, Ben. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you in your embrace, old man. You're supposed to look after the place. Go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Good job, son. Nice shoot. Not a bad day's work. John, come here. John, come here, quick. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Come here, son. Well, old man, 
Looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. Your hands upon We can't always fight nature. John. Dead man's gun and we can't show. fight change. Looking down My whole life. All I ever did was fight. But I can't give up. Not. Your heart is warm. I can't fight my own nature. And the seams are torn. That's a paradox, John. Giving you a reason to fight. Our time has passed, John. And you're not gonna take what they've got. Some to trees give flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. John Marston. They're giving you a reason to fight. And all the storms you've been chasing about to rain down tonight. And all the pain you've been facing Coming to the light Your hands upon A dead man's gun And you're looking down the sides Excuse me, you Edgar Bross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog! And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash! Now get out of here before I kill you as well! I ain't going nowhere, old man! Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Marston. Outlast to the end. Until we meet again, Python and Selkin, out.